that means the left hand limit as well as right hand limits are same and if they are equal to the functional value f of z then the function is said to be continuous at x is equal to c limit extends to a of f of x is equal to functional value f of a limit extends to pi minus f of x is equal to limit extends to pi plus f of x is equal to f of pi Hello dear students welcome to this session of mathematics class I am Mr Niranjan faculty department of mathematics with Ashram PU college temple of excellence in this session I am going to take very very important concept that is a uh, continuity regarding continuity continuous function what is the definition for continuous function and uh, the problems based on this continuous function this is very important concept you may expect one definite three marks question from this concept now let us come to the definition of a continuous function suppose f is a real valued function and let c be a point in the domain of f suppose if f is a real valued function and c is a point in the domain of the function f then f is continuous at c if limit exists for the function f of x and the limit of f of x at x is equal to a is f of c if this limit exists then the function f of x is continuous so in general if the left hand limit and the right hand limit of the function exists and equal and they are equal to the functional value then the function f of x is said to be a continuous function at the point x is equal to c that is if the left hand limit lhl and the right hand limit rhl and the value of the function at x is equal to c exists and they are equal to each other then f is said to be continuous at the point x is equal to c that is right hand limit and left hand limit at x is equal to c coincides that means the left hand limit as well as right hand limits are same and if they are equal to the functional value f of c then the function is said to be continuous at x is equal to c so that is lhl is equal to rhl is equal to f of c then the function is said to be continuous so in general a function f of x is said to be a continuous function if the left hand limit as well as right hand limit are equal and they are equal to the functional value then the function is said to be a continuous function the geometrical meaning of this function is if y is equal to f of x is a function if there is no break then the left hand limit right hand limit must be equal then the function is said to be continuous at the point x is equal to c okay now suppose if they are not equal if there is a break then they are said to be discontinuous they are not continuous now a function is a function is continuous at x is equal to c if the function is defined at x is equal to c and if the value of the function at x is equal to c is equal to limit of the function x is equal to c at x is equal to c if it is not equal then the function is said to be discontinuous or it is not uh, continuous at that point c so therefore if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value you might have been studied the left hand limit is limit extends to a minus f of x is equal to limit extends to a plus f of x is equal to functional value if limit extends to a of a minus f of x left hand limit is equal to limit extends to a plus f of x is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value all these three are equal then the function is said to be a continuous function if not equal then it is called as a discontinuous function not continuous function very simple just to verify whether the given function is continuous check the left hand limit and the right hand limit and the functional value if these three are equal then the function is said to be a continuous function let us take small example now check the continuity of the function f given by f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 at x is equal to 1 now at x is equal to 1 f of x what is f of x f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 now put x is equal to 1 which implies f of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 that's equal to 5 the functional value f of 1 is equal to 5 now according to the definition limit extends to 
a what is a here 1 extends to 1 of f of x is equal to f of 1 now what is that equal to that is limit x tends to 1 of f of x is nothing but 2x plus 3 is equal to f of 1. Now substitute the value of limit. Put x is equal to 1 here 2 into 1 is 2 plus 3. The functional value is 5. So which implies 5 is equal to 5. So therefore the function f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 is continuous at x is equal to 1. Therefore f of x is a continuous function is continuous at x is equal to 1. That's all. This is how we are going to verify. That's all. Okay. Just find out the value of limit at x is equal to 1 and find out the functional value at x is equal to 1. If they are equal, then it is called a continuous function. That's it. Hope you followed. Okay. Now, let us come to a similar type problem. Now, these type of problems are very, very important for 3 marks. Now, what is the problem given? Show that the function f of x is equal to x cube plus 3. If x is not equal to 0, 1 if x is equal to 0 is not continuous at x is equal to 0. Now, I have to verify whether this is continuous or not. That means this problem, what is given? It is not continuous. That means left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit is not equal to functional value. Now, since x when x is not equal to 0. What is the meaning of x is not equal to 0? x is not equal to 0 means x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0. That means here both the left hand limit and right hand limit are same. That is limit x tends to a of f of x is equal to functional value f of a. Now what is a here? a is equal to 0. When x is not equal to 0, f of x is given. So limit x tends to 0 of f of x when x is not equal to 0 f of x is x cube plus 3 and the functional value when x is equal to 0 f of a is 1. Just apply the limit if you apply limit x is equal to 0 0 cube plus 3 is equal to 1 0 plus 3 is equal to 1 3 is equal to 1 means this is not equal. So left hand limit right hand limit and functional value they are not equal therefore f of x is not continuous f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 1. So therefore, f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 1. That's all. See, when x is not equal to 0 means x is less than 0 or greater than 0. That means left hand limit and right hand limit are equal to limit x tends to a of f of x is equal to the functional value. So, limit x tends to 0 of x cube plus 3 is equal to functional value when x is equal to 0 f of x is 1 that is already given substitute the value of limit put x is equal to 0 0 plus 3 is equal to 0 is equal to 3 0 is not equal to 3 so here left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit is not equal to functional value so the function f of x is not continuous it is discontinuous okay now let us come to the next problem if f of x is equal to x plus 2 when x is less than or equal to 1, x minus 2 if x is greater than 1, check the continuity of the function at x is equal to 1. So we have to check whether the function is continuous or not at x is equal to 1. To verify the continuity, just verify the value of LHL and RHL are equal to the functional value or not. That's all. Now, what is here a is equal to 1? Here a is equal to 1. Next, when x is less than 1, we have f of x. What is f of x? x plus 2. When x is less than 1 means f of x is equal to x plus 2. Then we will get left hand limit. Left hand limit is limit x tends to 1 minus f of x. That is limit x tends to 1 minus what is f of x? x plus 2. Put x is equal to 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, left hand limit is equal to 3. Similarly, when x is greater than 1, when x is greater than 1, f of x, what is f of x? x minus 2. So, you will get the right hand limit. Right hand limit is equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. That's equal to limit x tends to 1 plus f of x is x minus 2. Put x is equal to 1, 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. Okay. Now, at x is equal to 1, when 
x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 1 means f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x plus 2. So, f of 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 that is equal to 3. See here, when x is less than 1, f of x is x plus 2. So, the limit value is 3. When x is greater than 1, f of x is x minus 2. Put x is equal to 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. And when x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to x plus 2, it is 3. So, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. What is left hand limit? Left hand limit is 3. What is right hand limit? Right hand limit is minus 1. Again, functional value is 3. So, they are not equal. Left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit is not equal to functional value. Therefore, f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 1. So, f of x is not continuous at x is equal to 1. This is discontinuous function. That is it. Okay. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next problem. Show that the function f of x is equal to x plus 1. If x is less than or equal to 1, x square minus 1. If x is greater than 1 is continuous function at x is equal to 1. So, here also just find out the value where a is equal to 1. Left hand limit. Left hand limit means when f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x plus 1 when x is less than 1. So, left hand limit is equal to limit extends to 1 minus f of x. That is limit extends to 1 minus what is f of x x plus 1. So, put x is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Left hand limit is equal to 2. Similarly, when x is greater than 1, f of x f of x is x square minus 1. So, we will get right hand limit. Right hand limit is limit extends to 1 plus 1 plus f of x. So, that is limit extends to 1 plus what is f of x? x square minus 1. So, put the value of x is equal to 1. So, 1 square is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Left hand limit is equal to 0. Again, functional value. When x is equal to 1, f of x, when x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to x plus 1. Then what happens? f of 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. So, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. What is left hand limit? So, we have left hand limit as 2 and the right hand limit as 0 and the functional value. So, they are not equal. So, therefore, the function f of x is not continuous. at x is equal to 1. This is a discontinuous function. The function is not continuous, not continuous at x is equal to 1. So, this is discontinuous function. That is it. Okay. Now, let us come to the next problem. Find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at x is equal to 5. This is very important problem for 3 months. Very, very important question. So, Find the value of k so that the function is continuous at x is equal to 5. What is given? The function f of x is equal to kx plus 1 if x is less than or equal to 5, 3x minus 5 if x is greater than 5. Very simple. Since it is given, since f of x is continuous at x is equal to 5, f of x is continuous at x is equal to 5. So, what is the meaning? Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. So, for left hand limit when x is less than 5, f of x is equal to when x is less than 5, f of x is equal to kx plus 1, kx plus 1. So, we will get the left hand limit as limit extends to 5 minus f of x. So, that is limit extends to 5 minus f of x is kx plus 1. So, this is k into 5 plus 1 that is equal to 5k plus 1. Again, when x is equal to 1, when x is equal to 5, when x is equal to 5, f of x is again equal to f of x is equal to kx plus 1. Put x is equal to 5, f of 5 is equal to k into 5 plus 1 that is 5k plus 1. 
So the left hand limit is 5k plus 1. So functional value is also 5k plus 1. When x is greater than 1, find out the value of right hand limit. When x is greater than 5, f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. So we will get the right hand limit. Right hand limit is equal to limit extends to 5 plus f of x. This is limit extends to 5 plus f of x, 3x minus 5. So 3 into 5 minus 5, that is 15 minus 5 is equal to 10. Okay. Since it is given f of x is continuous at x is equal to 5, therefore left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. So that is limit extends to 5 minus f of x is equal to limit extends to 5 plus f of x is equal to f of 5. What is left hand limit? Left hand limit is 5k plus 1 is equal to functional value. Right hand limit is 10 is equal to functional value is also 5k plus 1. Let us equate first and second. 5k plus 1 is equal to 10. 5k is equal to 10 minus 1. 5k is equal to 9. Therefore, k is equal to 9 by 5. So, therefore, the value of k is equal to 9 by 5. So, the value of k is equal to 9 by 5. At k is equal to 9 by 5, the function f of x is continuous. That's it. Very simple. Just find out left hand limit, right hand limit and substitute and simplify. You will get the answer. That's it. Hope you followed. Very important and very easiest problem. Now, let us come to the similar type problem. Same. Find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at x is equal to pi. If f of x is equal to k plus 1, if x is less than or equal to pi, cos x if x is greater than pi. Now, what is given here? x is equal to pi means the value of a is pi. Now, the left hand limit when x is, x is less than pi means we will get f of x is equal to k x plus 1. Again, when x is greater than pi means, when x is greater than pi means f of x is equal to cos x. When x is equal to pi means f of x, the functional value f of x is also equal to kx plus 1. Since, what is given? Since f of x is continuous at x is equal to pi f of x is continuous at x is equal to 5. Therefore, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. That is limit extends to pi minus f of x is equal to limit extends to pi plus f of x is equal to f of pi. Now, substitute here. What is that? That is equal to limit extends to pi plus f of x. When x is less than pi, f of x is k into x plus 1 is equal to right hand limit. Limit extends to pi minus when x is greater than 1, right hand limit we have f of x is cos x is equal to functional value f of x that is k x plus 1 at x is equal to pi. Substitute the value. Put x is equal to k. k into pi plus 1 is equal to cos pi is equal to k into pi plus 1. So, k into pi plus 1 is equal to, since you know the value of cos pi, cos pi, cos 180 is equal to minus 1. So, this is minus 1 is equal to k into pi plus 1. Equate this. k pi plus 1 is equal to minus 1. k pi is equal to minus 1 minus 1. k pi, k into pi is equal to minus 2. Therefore, k is equal to minus 2 by pi is the value of k. So, at k is equal to minus 2 by 5, the function, given function f of x is continuous. That is all. Very simple. Same that of as that of the previous problem. Instead of a constant, they have given pi. That is it. Okay. Now, let us take next same type problem. Find the relation between a and b so that the function defined by if f of x is equal to ax plus 1, if x is less than or equal to 3, bx plus 3, if x is greater than 3 is continuous at x is equal to 
same this is also same as that of uh, the previous problem here what is required to find is a relation between a and b now what is the value of x x is equal to 3 means a is equal to 3 condition when x is less than 3 f of x when x is less than 3 f of x is a x plus 1 when x is greater than 3 f of x x is greater than 3 f of x is b x plus 3 when x is equal to 3 f of x f of x is again equal to a x plus 1 now since this is continuous function since f of x is continuous is continuous at x is equal to continuous at x is equal to 3 therefore left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value substitute here left hand limit limit LHL is equal to RHL is equal to functional value that is limit x tends to 3 minus f of x what is f of x left hand limit a x plus 1 is equal to limit x tends to 3 plus f of x f of x right hand limit f of x is nothing but b x plus 3 is equal to functional value when x is equal to 3 f of x is a x plus 1 at x is equal to 3 substitute here that is all. So, what you will get 3 a plus 1 is equal to 3 b plus 3 is equal to 3 a plus 1. Now, equate first and second that is all 3 a plus 1 is equal to 3 b plus 3 or 3 a is equal to 3 b plus 3 transfer plus 1 becomes minus 1. So, this is 3 b plus 2 that is 3 a is equal to 3 times a is equal to 3 into b plus c. Okay. Now, to find the relation between a and b, now let us divide by 3 on both sides, divide by 3. So, if we divide by 3, you will get a is equal to 3, 3 gets cancelled, b plus 2 by 3. So, a is equal to b plus 2 by 3 is the relation between a and b for this given continuous function. Since this is continuous at x is equal to 3, therefore, a is equal to b plus 2 by 3 is the relation. That is it. Very important problem for a 3 marks. Hope you are following. Right. See, these are few types of problems. Now, let us come to the next type problem. Find the value of k so that the function f is continuous at x is equal to 3. What is given if f of x is equal to x cube minus 27 by x minus 3 and uh, k when x is not equal to 3 and uh, when x is equal to 3. Now, what is required to find is k again same type problem. So, here what is given since it is f of x is continuous f of x is continuous at x is equal to 3 therefore, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to functional value. Since when x is not equal to 3, x is not equal to 3 in the sense x is not equal to 3 me which implies x is less than 3 or x is greater than 3. So, that means x is less than 3 or x is greater than 3 means definitely we will get the limit. Both the limits are same. So, limit extends to 3 of f of x is equal to functional value f of 3. So, that is limit extends to 3 of f of x what is f of x x cube minus 27 divided by x minus 3 the functional value is k now evaluate this limit that's all limit x tends to 3 of x cube minus 27 can be done as 3 cube divided by x minus 3 is equal to k now if you observe carefully this is of the forum so you might have been studied limit x tends to a of x raise to n minus a raise to n by x minus a is equal to n a to the power of n minus 1. Since n is a positive integer, what is n? n is equal to 3, a is also equal to 3, that is 3 into a to the power of 3 minus 1, n a to the power of n minus 1, 3 into 3 to the power of 2, that is 3 into 3 square is 9, 9 3 is a 27. So, the simplified answer for this is 27, therefore, k is equal to 27. The value of k is equal to 27. That is it. Hope you followed. See here, f of x is continuous at x is equal to 3. 
further x is not equal to 3 means both left hand limit and right hand limit are same so limit extends to 3 of x cube minus 27 by x minus 3 is equal to k 27 can be written as 3 cube so this is of the form limit extends to a of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a is equal to n to the power of n minus 1 where n is equal to 3 a is also 3, n into a is 3 to the power of n minus 1, 3 into 3 raised to 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 square is 9, 9 3 is a 27. So, the value of k is 27, that is it. Now, let us come to the next problem, similar type problem. Find the value of a so that the function f is continuous at x is equal to 4, if f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 256 by x minus 4 when x is not equal to 4 and a when x is equal to 4. Same type problem instead of k it is a that is it. What is given x is equal to 4, x is equal to 4 and what is to find is a since f of x is continuous right. See here when x is not equal to 4, when x is not equal to 4 means x is less than 4 or x is greater than 4. So, therefore, f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 256 divided by x minus 4. This is the limit. So, limit extends to a of f of x is equal to the functional value because f of x is continuous at x is equal to 4. Now, substitute here. That is it. What is the value of limit? So, therefore, limit extends to a is 4 of f of x, f of x is x to the power of 4 minus 256 divided by x minus 4 is equal to functional value, functional value f of x, f of x is equal to a when x is equal to 4. So, this is a, f of x is a. Now, if you observe carefully, this is also of the form, limit extends to 4 of x to the power of 4 minus 256 can be written as 4 to the power of 4 divided by x minus 4 is equal to a. 4 to the power of 4, 4 4 is 16, 16 4 is 64, 64 into 4 is 256. Now, if you observe carefully again this is of the forum limit extends to a of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a is equal to n into a to the power of n minus 1 where n is a positive integer. Here n is equal to 4 a is also equal to 4. If you apply the formula, then you will get n 4 into a 4 to the power of n minus 1, 4 into 4 to the power of 3, 4 cube. This is 4 into 4 cube, 4 4 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64. That is again equal to 64 into 4 is 256. So, the simplified answer is 256. So, therefore, a is equal to 256. That is it. This is how we are going to evaluate this type of limits. That is it. Okay. If you observe carefully, then this is limit extends to of x raised to n minus a raised to n by x minus a. That is nothing but n a to the power of n minus 1. n is 4. a is also equal to 4. n a to the power of n minus 1. 4 into a is 4 to the power of 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 cube. 4 4 is a 16, 16 4 is a 64, 64 into 4 is 256, that is the required answer. So, I hope you followed all these type of problems, practice this type of problems, definitely you will get one question from this type of concept for 3 marks in your final examination. So, that is all regarding today's session, let us meet with uh, the different types of problems in the next session, thank you, thank you very much.